Hello, this is Renee and welcome back. Today we have a pick a card reading. We're going to take a look and see what may be blocking you from finding your soulmate. What is blocking you? I have three piles to choose from. So choose one of these quotes that describes your current situation or your current beliefs. Whichever one resonates more to you. We have the first one, pile number one. What is the most limiting belief keeping me from what I want right now? Okay. Pound number two. Am I focused on what I am losing or gaining? Okay. And pile number three. Am I letting fear stop me? Okay. And choose what pile resonates most to you right now. If you would like, you can choose more than one pile. If, if um, the first pile that you choose doesn't resonate with you, um, pick all of them if you choose. But uh, yeah, go ahead and pick a pile and we will find out what is blocking you from finding your soulmate. What's keeping you from not making this transition okay so if you chose pile number one what is the most limiting belief keeping me from what I want right now if you chose pile number one this reading is for you and we'll go ahead and get started okay the first card okay it says what story are you telling yourself when you think about your dreams what is the first limiting thought that comes to your mind if you're not living the life that you desire it's because a part of you doesn't believe that it's possible okay so let, let's take a look at your energies pile number one we'll set this up here Okay, let's take a look at your energies. What's blocking you? Pile number one. What is blocking you from finding your soulmate? Okay, we have trust. I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly. Okay, it may be that you may have trouble trusting people because of the circumstances that may be from your past. Maybe someone hurt you very deeply and now it's hard for you to trust. Um, or maybe I'm really getting that you're not really trusting yourself in this situation. We have friendship. I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. So it could be power number one. Maybe I'm getting a feeling that maybe you're kind of moving too fast. Maybe in the situation you're not letting it escalate from really getting to know each other to becoming friends and then venturing into that love decision. Maybe you're jumping too quickly into love and it's leaving you unfulfilled unsatisfied you know not really wanting to take that second leap further you know um, but of course if it's not your soulmate you know it's just passing time so I and I truly understand that if you're waiting for your soulmate you know you're waiting for that soul person to arrive and um, Sometimes we get that person who was meant to be in our life all along, that destined person. Uh, for example, you know, myself and my husband, 
it was almost like we knew each other before we met because he was just so familiar. And I just always felt like I had met him before. And come to find out, his his aunt lived right across the street from my grandmother. And, you know, we may have, you know, got to play together as children. You know? So, I mean, when you meet your soulmate, sometimes you just, they feel so familiar, like you knew them from before. And it could be, it could also be that you had them as a love, as a soulmate in a past life. So, yeah, just recognize those feelings. You know, take notice. You know, if someone seems so familiar, so, you know, like you know them from someplace before, like your paths have crossed and crossed several times. You know, that could be your soulmate. That could be someone that you're destined to be with, okay? Okay, we have empathy. I am open to seeing both sides of the situation. So, yeah, I really feel like, you know, what may be blocking you is maybe being a little bit too empathetic, you know? Maybe you are processing things a little differently. Um, you know, sometimes we need to take a step back and kind of regroup on the situation to make sure that... The situation really feels right. You know, we're not just diving into the situation for, you know, um, certain physical urges, should I say. You know? Okay, let's get some more energy for pile number one. What do we have for pile number one? Okay. We have joy. Okay, pile number one, I'm I'm really feeling like you're, you're looking for that person who kind of brings you joy, brings you balance, makes you feel really satisfied. Um, makes you feel like you're kind of whole and complete. You know what I mean? Um, to be totally honest, you know, as relationships go... <laughs> Um, I've been my, with my husband for a very long time and, you know, I don't always feel joy. Sometimes, I'm going to be totally honest, sometimes I don't like him. I really don't. But I love him to death. You know what I mean? So, I mean, we're all going to have those days where we really need our own space and may not want to deal with our mates. Um, but in all, I totally agree. Balance, feeling balanced, feeling loved, feeling wanted and accepted is very important. Is very important. Okay, let's take a, a little deeper look. What's going on? Okay, we have not enough. Frustrated in relationships, lack of confidence, self-sabotage, fear ego issues and jealousy so pile number one I feel like in your past you may have felt like whatever situation just wasn't enough it just didn't give you what you wanted um, at a lot of times maybe you felt frustrated with, with the relationship and had to end it or maybe the person made you feel less confident in your situ situation um, but I'm really feeling like What's blocking you the most is the feeling that maybe a person is just not carrying all the qualities that you're looking for, you know? Okay, we have palm tree, stability, security, permanence, growth, endurance, and flexibility. So yeah, pile number one, I really feel like that's what you're looking for is that stability, that feeling of, you know, it's going to be long lasting, like it's not going to vanish in thin air, you know? Okay, let's get into some tarot. Let's see what the tarot has to say about the situation. I'm going to take this one. 
Okay. Pile number one. What is blocking you from finding your soulmate? What is blocking you from finding your soulmate? Okay, five of swords. Conflict. Chaos. The eight of wands. The page of cups. The hangman. Wow. Okay. Temperance. Yeah, feeling balance. And we have the lovers in reverse. Okay. At the bottom, we have the five of pentacles. So that, that's the energy where I, that I was getting that is an energy of really lacking. Maybe lacking confidence. Lacking the um, stability that you need. Kind of being left out. Um, not feeling accepted or appreciated. Uh, and, and I feel like maybe in your past relationships that's exactly what it was maybe you weren't appreciated by the person enough or you weren't you didn't feel fully accepted you felt like you were kind of left out like they were keeping secrets okay with the five of swords what is blocking you is the feeling of not wanting to fight not wanting the extra drama, the conflict. So maybe you feel like the relationship, maybe your past relationship, there was a lot of conflict. There was a lot of arguing. Um, you just didn't want to deal with the drama. I feel like for some... I feel like maybe someone was coming out of a very toxic relationship. There may have been abuse or someone taking something from you that you really valued, that really meant a lot to you, you know. Um, with the Eight of Wands and the Page of Cups, I really feel like you, you, at the moment, you feel like you're just too busy to look for love. You're too busy to... Kind of accept the offer that just may come out of the blue. You know, I, I feel like you may be working on your career or working on yourself to where you may feel like you just don't have time. And you may not be saying that physically that you don't have time, but maybe the... The people who find you interesting. The love interest. Your possible love interests, Look at you as being too busy. Too occupied with work. Or too occupied with hobbies. Or, or certain uh, situations. Maybe they, they are not confident enough. To spark conversation with you. You know. Um, yeah. Now, there could be love interest, but like I said, they, they may not have the confidence to spark a conversation. Um, because I feel like with this hangman energy and this temperance, I feel like you're really soul searching, pile number one. You're soul searching for a balance and for healing. You're trying to find the harmony within yourself so much that you may be kind of portraying yourself as not having time to pursue love or not having time to accept a love offer you know um someone may find you as very attractive but if they see that you're too busy they may kind of pull away and may not even try to you know start a conversation or you know um bring up anything or give you some kind of offer or invitation because they feel like you're just you're, you're going to say that you're too busy or you're not interested so and i feel like you're kind of portraying yourself as not having the time for love 
And I hope that makes sense to you. And I hope that you're not offended, pile number one. Um, but we do have the lovers in reverse. So I'm really feeling like, you know, um, that's exactly what you're portraying. You're portraying like you're not looking for love or maybe that you're already attached. And I feel like with this lover's card in reverse and the king of cups right above it i feel like any love offer that's going to come through they feel like you're already attached they feel like you're already you know in a relationship so um maybe it is that you wear something on your finger on your ring finger um that makes it look like you're married or or it makes it look like you're engaged or something like that. Or maybe you're just, the way you carry yourself, they just feel like you're already taken because you carry yourself a certain way. You know? Okay. Let's go ahead and get a little bit more information for pile number one. Okay, we're going to get some love cards. See what the love cards have to say for pile number one. What do we have? Okay. We have, if you could do anything, what would it be? The answer lies in your heart, not in your mind. For the heart is the gateway to the soul. So, yeah, if, if you could have any type of relationship... What kind of relationship would that look like? What exact do you know exactly what you're looking for? Are you looking for that certain person that's you know only fits that mold? You know, let's see, pile number one. When it comes to matters of the heart, there is no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love. So by taking chances, by accepting love offers, you increase your ability to maybe find that perfect one. Find that perfect one that could be your soulmate. So maybe you need to open yourself up a little bit. You know, get a different perspective on um, how you actually view love. What does it really mean to you? You know, um, let's get some advice for pile number one. What can pile number one do to be more open to love? To remove any blocks to find their soulmates. What can pile number one do to remove those blocks? Okay, five of cups. Five of cups is a card of letting go, of releasing. And maybe you need to release grief or the past. Release that energy of the past that you know, you may be holding on to and not even realize it that, you know, someone who's hurt you from the past or someone who has wronged you. Um, maybe you're still holding on to those feelings and um, you, you may not even realize it. So um, maybe you do need to dive deep down with this hangman energy and really take a different perspective on what you're looking for. We have the king of cups in reverse. So, yeah, I really feel like, you know, with this King of Cups in reverse, your advice would be to open to love, but not let your emotions get in the way right away. You know, um, we also have the Eight of Swords. So there's definitely something that you're holding yourself back from. You're boxing yourself in. You may have fears or doubts. It, it's definitely fears or doubts of the past. And it may be because of this King of Cups in reverse. This King of Cups may have been a little unemotional or it may have left you feeling a certain kind of way. And so you're like boxing yourself in. You're like... Um, distancing yourself and you may be distancing yourself uncon you know unnoticeably you may not even see it but there's definitely some emotions that you need to you know release and let go of and I'm really feeling like those are emotions of the past but pile number one if you just be grateful 
for those two cups behind you. Be grateful for the lessons you learned and not hold on to the grief or doubt or fear. If you take a look at those two cups, those two cups are glowing. So I feel like those two cups could hold a soulmate energy. You know? Um, and releasing that fear or that doubt could really open up your aura, you know, to um, finding that soulmate. Yeah, we have the Hierophant. So definitely, definitely releasing that past energy. Standing on what you believe in and going forward. You know, taking that leap. Taking that plunge into you know looking for love again opening your space to love okay okay pile number one that is what i have for you um so if this reading resonates please like and subscribe hit the bell so that you don't miss any uploads and take a look at your sun moon and rising for more clarity uh, you can also take a look at the next pile if you choose to okay and many blessings to you. Love and light. If you chose pile number two, I am focused on, am I focused on what I am losing or gaining? Are you going through some change? Are you scared to let go because of what you might lose? If you shifted your focus from what you might lose to what you might gain. Endings are actually new beginnings. Okay? If you chose pile number two, this reading is for you. Okay, let's get some energy for pile number two. Okay, what do we have for pile number two? Okay, yeah, we have adversity. I accept that challenges are the best way to learn. Okay. Pile number two. I feel like with this energy. Um, that you may feel like you've lost a lot in past relationships. You may feel like maybe you lost part of yourself in past relationships. You've given a lot of energy. And maybe you didn't get what you wanted in return. So I feel like that energy is what's blocking you at the moment that energy is like keeping you at a distance okay um and we have perseverance i know that i can do whatever i set my mind to so definitely i feel like you know you you may feel like you've kind of given up the search like the perfect person your soulmate is just not part of your reality but spirit is letting you know to persevere if you haven't met your soulmate yet um you will you will it's in your cards you just need to persevere and don't give up okay we have doubt i release the need to know all of the answers so it may be because you're doubting or you're fearing or you know some kind of situation like that to where maybe the soulmate that you're manifesting isn't coming through as quickly as it could. Um, I feel like there's a lot of doubt and fear in this situation because you're fearing losing more of what you have lost before in the past. Like, like you're not going to win. Like, you know, someone isn't going to accept you or love you for who you truly are. But that is not true, pile number two that is not true okay you know we have destiny so I feel like you know there there's a destined person out there who is your soulmate and completion okay so yeah I I feel like it's taking me back to 
endings are merely beginnings. So I feel like whatever you have lost in the past, whatever is gone, I, I feel like, you know, you have the ability for a new beginning, pile number two. You know, every ending is just an opportunity for a new beginning. Look what we have on the bottom. There is a soulmate out there for you. Spirit is letting you know, don't give up. Don't give up, pile number two. Because your soulmate, I feel like your soulmate is very close. Your soulmate is coming through. It's destiny. Your soulmate is destined. It's coming. Okay? Let's take a look at the... Some Love Tarot. The Island Time Wellness Love Oracle Cards. Okay, let's see... What do we have for pile number two? What is blocking pile number two from finding their soulmate? What is blocking pile number two from finding their soulmate? Abundance. Keeping a positive mindset. Manifest exactly what you want. Gratitude and bliss. Yeah, that's exactly what I was what I was feeling. Pile number two. I feel like, you know, maybe you the things that you have lost have kind of shattered your perception of being positive about um, bringing in this soulmate. I feel like, you know, and it could be underlying. It could be something that you may not even realize that you're doing. But I feel like maybe when someone comes into your life, maybe, you know, you start to speak negative talk or you start to feel like you're not enough or you're not accepted. Or maybe they're not going to like this or maybe they're not going to like that. And that negative speak actually hinders what it is that you're manifesting. It actually, you know, moves it back further so it doesn't come to us in in the time that it's supposed to manifest because we don't have that positive mindset, you know? If you're thinking negative thoughts, then negativity is going to come to you. It's going to, you know, become your reality. But if you stay in that positive mindset, Pile number two, if you stay in that positive mindset, then positive things start to multiply and build. And then it builds into abundance. Abundance isn't always money. Abundance is also, you know, love. Finding your soulmate. Finding that happiness. Um, good health and family. You know, the people we love surrounding us. So don't think of abundance as just material goods. Abundance is also that beautiful feeling that you get when someone embraces you and you feel comfort, you feel loved, you feel accepted, you know. So, yeah, um, speak kindness to yourself. And I always tell you guys this all the time. Speak kind words. Stay positive. You know, remove any negative words, any negativity from the things that you speak. Because the universe hears that energy. And then it comes back to us however we're speaking that energy. Okay? Okay, we have the boat. Receiving what you need. Progress, progression. Arriving. Moving on. And close your issues. Okay, I, I feel like in the past, you know, maybe you didn't receive exactly what you needed in, in a relationship. So you did feel kind of in doubt that that person was going to come into your life and, you know, become that soulmate energy. Or you wouldn't feel that soulmate energy because, you know, you didn't receive exactly what you needed in, in the relationship. So I, I feel like... You know, and to be totally honest, pile number two, we are the only ones, I'm talking about myself, we are the only ones who can make ourselves happy. So whatever we bring into our reality is going to bring happiness. So what I'm going to say to you is to rely on yourself for your happiness. 
Don't rely on someone else to bring you happiness. And that will open up your heart to receiving that soulmate energy because you are coming across as more confident, more lively, you know, more fulfilled personally. And that confidence attracts beautiful things. So that's what I'm going to say, you know, beautiful energy. Okay, imagine all the unwanted thoughts dissolving into light and creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life. So imagine all of those negative thoughts. Pile number two, imagine them just disappearing into the air, just disappearing, just fading off into the clouds. You know, each negative thought that you say to yourself or that you feel speak them out into the universe but let them drift away from you don't hold on to those feelings let those feelings go release them into the universe so that you are free from that energy I am no longer unwanted. I no longer feel unaccepted. I am no longer in doubt. You know, release that energy. Make room for that soulmate. Okay? I hope that helps a lot. Pound number two. Okay. When it comes to matters of the heart, there is no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love. Okay? So whatever lessons that you learned from the past, take those lessons, but release those feelings. Okay? Okay, let's get some tarot. We're going to use the light series for this one. Let's get some tarot on the situation. And of course, the first card to want to pop out and fall on the floor is the Hermit. So definitely, I feel like you've been soul searching, pile number two. You may have been soul searching for that perfect one. Um, I feel like in the past you may have sacrificed so much that you feel like you've sacrificed yourself. Um, so that's kind of left you in the, in the space of feeling unwanted, unappreciated, you know, but gain that better perspective that you are worthy of whatever's coming. We have the seven of cups in reverse. So I feel like you kind of feel like the opportunities are kind of short. Like you really don't have the opportunity to find your soulmate. Like there <laughs> like there's not many out there you know so I, I feel like you just feel like the opportunities are really slim okay we have the hangman definitely look at an, another perspective look at the situation through new eyes through new vision and Gain a different perspective, you know. Speak your truth. Speak to the universe exactly what you're looking for, exactly how you see your soulmate. Okay, we have the King of Cups. Definitely soulmate energy coming through. Definitely soulmate energy coming through. They're out there, pile number two. Okay, we have the Ace of Swords. So like I said, we have the Ace of Swords in reverse. So I really feel like, pile number two, you, this is letting you know to speak your truth. Don't hold back your words. Don't hold back your communication. Speak confidence into yourself. You know, give yourself that, that burst of energy, that breakthrough energy that is going to increase your mental clarity. Because I feel like with this Ace of Swords in reverse, I feel like you're kind of down. 
like you are maybe putting your heart over your head and and I feel like it's kind of clouding your your judgment it's clouding your you know the the way you think about love maybe you feel like you're attracting the wrong type of people um, and I feel like you know changing your mindset you know really thinking about what you want and getting yourself out there is going to really help you a lot we have the high priestess so definitely I feel like the universe is letting you know to trust yourself to trust your intuition on the situation you know like I said the king of cups your soulmate is out there they're right here you just need to change your mindset free your mind of all the clutter of all the clutter of the past relationships that didn't work the past you know projects or the past you know uh, challenges or obstacles Okay, okay, let's see. Yeah, we have the, the Queen of Pentacles. So I definitely feel like you're looking for someone who is stable. And, you know, this is only going to resonate for a few. But I'm going to talk to the few that it does resonate with. Stability doesn't always come with abundance. Okay? Just because someone is wealthy, just because someone has a lot of material goods, doesn't mean that they're stable. It doesn't mean that they can provide you stability. You know, it just means that they have a lot of material goods. So don't judge a book by their cover. If they have a lot of material goods, they, you know, it doesn't mean that they're your soulmate. It doesn't mean that they're a good catch. Because... You know, someone who's wealthy can leave you feeling unwanted just as well as someone who's poor. So I'm just letting you know that. And this is just for the few that it's going to resonate with. But, you know, material goods doesn't mean stability. Okay. We have the Ace of Cups. Yeah. Excuse me, the Queen of Cups. So we have the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups. So we have love here definitely the king and the queen same suit you know emotions overflowing someone who's very supportive very nurturing very healing and i feel like with this queen of cups energy she's letting you know to really trust your intuition the queen of cups she she trusts how she's feeling because she knows that that feeling is going to support her. That feeling is going to lead her into this heart space that's going to open up and fulfill her needs, her wants, her desires. You know, it's going to bring that love through. Okay? So, let's get... Let's get a, let's see, we'll get one of these. What can pile number two do to, what is the advice for pile number two to unblock their soulmate from coming into the life? What can pile number two do? Healing energy. Heal yourself. Heal from the past, from that energy that makes you feel unwanted or unaccepted. You know, go through that deep healing to, you know, create yourself over. And I promise that feeling confident, feeling loved, feeling appreciated, really taking care of yourself. And, you know, just... Ex, ex, uh, extruding the aura of those feelings of being complete actually putting them out there it attracts so much good really 
Okay, and we have ease and grace. So, you know, don't try to rush things. Pile number two, don't try to rush things because your soulmate is going to come through in its own divine timing. Trying to rush or force things to happen is not going to bring your true soulmate. So have patience. You know, take the time to really build yourself up. At the bottom, we have inner child healing. Look how this angel is holding this child. You know, look deep within yourself. What needs to be healed for you to move into your soulmate situation? What needs to be healed? You know, take a deep look at that energy. And then you will come across so many answers. So many things will become clear in the situation. And that opens up things for your soulmate to come through. Okay? Okay, let's get another card. Uh, when will pile number two soulmate come through? Any advice, spirit? Any advice, please? Okay, two of cups. Like I said, soulmate energy. Your soulmate is waiting for you. You just need to pre prepare yourself during this time for your soulmate to arrive. Okay, so that's what I have for you pile number two so if this reading resonates please like and subscribe hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads and now you can take a look at any other reading the sun moon or a rising sign for more clear messages or take a look at the next uh, pile or another pile if this one doesn't resonate okay so that is what I have for you pile number two Many blessings to you. Love and light. Okay, if you chose pile number three, this reading is for you. Am I letting fear stop me? And we have, are you experiencing a mountain of fear right now? Are you stalling, freezing, or giving up? The juicy secret is that you are the boss of fear. You are unstoppable. But it's up to you to see that by taking action. Okay? Okay, so let's take a look. What's going on for you, pile number three? Okay, we'll get some oracle cards see what messages that we have pile number three are you being led by fear i mean are are you not able to kind of push past the things of your past that is maybe holding you back hmm let's take a look pile number three what's blocking you from finding your soulmates messages spirits what's blocking you from finding your soulmate change i understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement so yeah it may be that you're kind of stuck in that fear and you're almost like freezing you're almost like not moving forward you're still stuck in that old energy um, maybe you have a fear of the of change because of something that happened in your past Something that happened in an old relationship that's stopping you from growing or evolving. And keeping you from moving forward and finding that soulmate. That destined person that you're meant to be with. You know? Um, sometimes having a fear of change will, will block us from the things that we want. And it does, doesn't necessarily just mean soulmate. But it can block us from anything that we're manifesting. Okay? And we have pride. I love myself and I see myself in everyone. So I feel like you may be mirroring some energy. I feel like you you may be attracting the wrong type of people over and over. You may be going through this cycle that needs to be changed because you're attracting the, the same type of person 
over and over again and over and over again you're getting your heart broken you're you're still in that same energy in each relationship so I feel like that's something that needs to be broken. That's something that needs to be healed in order to for you to move into the energy of finding your soulmate, to finding that one person that you're destined to have. Okay? Breaking that cycle. And we have failure. I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn. So definitely. And I feel like a lot of things for past mistakes you may be holding on to you may be holding on to those mistakes holding on to those past failures and you know kind of attracting the same sort of people it's kind of putting you in that same you know that same space that same energy so that's something that you need to free yourself from and we also have trust i accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly and like I was saying, I feel like, you know, um, maybe trusting yourself more to accept the past failures, the past people that you have released out of your life and not accepting that same type of person because you are worthy of what this is that you want and you need to trust yourself and know that you are worthy of what exactly you want and really take time to really sit down and speak with yourself about the things that you're really looking for in a person pile number three you know do that soul searching that is going to open up your mind and your um heart to accepting the person that you are really looking for the person that really fits your qualities that fits that mold that you're looking for you know you, you're not going to find Nine times out of ten, I'm going to be honest with you, nine times out of ten, you're not going to find that person at a bar or anything like that. You know, you're going to keep attracting those same people. You need to get out there and socialize. You know, go to gatherings, go to events, you know, and you may find your soulmate in the most unexpected place. You know, you may you may meet someone at the grocery store. You may meet somebody at some kind of museum or some kind of event, coffee shop, you know. So really open up your mind and your heart to what it is you truly want. Pile number two, excuse me, pile number three. I think that will be very helpful for you. And it's very, it's very curious that I just said pound number two. It may be that you may need to listen to pound number two as well. That may have a message that um, you need to hear. Okay? So, let's get some more energy for pound number three. Workaholic. Okay, I feel like you spend too much time at work. Maybe you're working on on you know gaining your abundance so much to where you really don't have time to pursue that love interest you really don't have time to focus on love and you feel like love should find you anyway you know but you putting time in work is really good that really increases your abundance but it doesn't increase your heart space you know so Take time out to relax, rejuvenate, build yourself up, and really focus on finding that love interest that you're looking for. Okay, pile number three. And we have release. So there's definitely some kind of emotions, some kind of situation, some kind of past lessons that you need to release. Hold on to the lessons that you learned from the situation, but release the feelings that went along with those lessons. Do you understand? Um, let them go. Let them just evaporate. So you can move on into better energy. You know, whatever is past is dead and gone. It's over with. There's nothing you can do to change the past. 
it's never going to change. All you can do is learn the lessons that the past has taught you and move with those lessons, with that wisdom. You know, but you want to release those feelings of the past because that may be what's holding you back. Okay? Okay, pile number three. We also have confusion. So I feel like you're not very clear on what it is you truly want, what it is you're truly looking for. I feel like you need to really open up your heart space, open up your mind, and maybe make a list. On your list, write down the, on one side of the paper, write down the things about a person that you just can't accept, that you don't want to have back in your life. On the other side of the paper, write down exactly what it is you want in a person. What does your soulmate look like? Be specific. You know, my soulmate has this quality. My soulmate has this eye color. My soulmate has this hair color. You know, my soulmate, be as specific as possible and write that down. Write down exactly what you're looking for. Okay? We also have isolation. So I feel like you may be isolating yourself too much. Um, and it may be good to get out and network. Get out and let yourself be known. Let, let that soulmate know that you're available. Your soulmate may think that you're attached, you know, because you work so hard or you kind of carry yourself like you're married or like you're dating or like, you know, you're unavailable. So put yourself out there. Take a risk and um, let it be known that you are available and looking for that soulmate, you know. Um, socialize. Okay, let's get some tarot for pile number three. What do we have for pile number three? What is blocking pile number three from finding their soulmate spirit? Give me a message for pile number three. Okay, we have the Queen of Swords in reverse. Yes, okay. And I feel like with this Queen of Swords in reverse, you may not be speaking what what it is you truly want you need to speak your truth and i feel like with this queen of swords in reverse that it's like clutter it's like a lot of you know past build up that's maybe causing confusion it's causing you know kind of uh feelings of not really knowing what you want anymore because I feel like maybe you have been let down in the past so now you really don't really know what you're looking for but um, like I said in order to move past that energy of you finding that same old thing over and over again maybe you feel like you're just attracting this person like that is the only type of person that you can attract but that's not true pile number three that's not true. You can attract your soulmate. We have judgment in reverse. Definitely. And I feel like that, you know, that clarity is being blocked. Like, you're not able to have that new beginning because there's too many things in the past kind of tugging you on, on the, you know, on, on your back or tugging you on your shoulder saying, no, you can't move on. No, you won't be accepted. No, you're still in doubt. No, you still have fear. You can't move forward. That freezing energy that's kind of keeping you away from change is keeping you away from what it is that you want. You know, um, let's get some more messages for pile number three. What do we have for pile number three? What is blocking the soulmate from coming in? More messages, please, spirit. Okay. And we have the Knight of Wands. Okay. So maybe you're lacking initiative. Maybe you're like in that stuck place. Maybe you're just not as optimistic as you could be. You know, the the Knight of Wands, they have a need to move. You know, be active, be assertive. And you know, um, take a chance. 
the Knight of Wands is very daring. They're they're like free spirited. And I, I feel like maybe with you know this workaholic coming out here, maybe you know you're kind of holding yourself back. You are kind of lacking the initiative to move forward with ease and grace, you know, with confidence. Take that chance that you need to take, you know? And we also have the Hierophant. So with the Hierophant, it may be that, you know, you're looking for that traditional love. You're looking for that marriage material. You know, but sometimes you have to grow into that. You want to be friends. You want to be friends before you become lovers. You know, really know that person. Really feel them out. Really focus on getting to know each other more better instead of just jumping in blindly. You know, kind of feel a person out before you take that leap of faith. You know? We have the Eight of Pentacles. So I definitely feel like you're working too much. Pile number three. You're working too much. You you don't have much time for socializing. For, you know, putting love before your work. Yeah, you need to take more time out to rest. To relax. To, you know, focus on yourself. Take care of yourself. Take care of your healing. Of, you know... You may need to get out there and really, um, you know, take a day for you. Get your nails done. Get your hair done. You know, if you're a male, go get groomed. Go get a pedicure, a manicure. You know, do something that's going to take care of you to make you feel better, to build your confidence. Okay? That's what Spirit is telling me, to take time out for yourself. Okay, we have the Empress. So I definitely feel like this could be something that you are manifesting. This is something that you do want to create in your life. You do want to create this abundance, this happiness. For some of you, I feel like some of you I feel like that you're a single parent and you feel like you know that love is not gonna come your way because they don't want the extra baggage. Like they don't want someone with kids. But that's not true neither. Because it, they do not have to be your children for you to love them. You know? So, yeah, don't be put into this box thinking that you're unwanted or unloved because you have children. Or you have, you know, this extra baggage that you're carrying on. Because, you know, that means nothing. But... You know, you have people around you who you're responsible for, who love you. You know, so, you know, take that with grace and with ease that you have these these children or these grandchildren or these loved ones who, who you're carrying with you through another relationship or through this soulmate situation. Okay, don't let that bring you down at all. Because you are still wanted. You can still be loved. Okay. We have the Page of Wands. So I feel like with this Page of Wands energy. I feel like. Pile number three. You're like lacking the drive. You're lacking the optimism to take a risk. To find love. Because you feel like. Like you're boxed in. Like you. Like you just don't want to go through the same cycle again. I keep coming to that. But you have the the Ace of Swords on the bottom. So I feel like some kind of breakthrough is going to come into your reality. That's letting you know that, you know, by changing your focus, changing your mentality to becoming more aware that you can be satisfied with, you know, love. With a soulmate coming into your life. Because you deserve that. You are worthy of whatever lifestyle you want to accept. Okay. 
Okay, let's get some love cards for pile number three. And pile number three cards just want to jump out at me for your pile. Spirit is really speaking. Let's see, when it comes to matters of the heart, there are no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love. And now, actually, I've gotten this card for the last two readings as well. So Spirit is trying to let you know that you are worthy. You are worthy of whatever love you are manifesting. Okay? Okay, we have emotions are natural and necessary part of life. But they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision. In order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment. Okay? Letting go of that old past feelings. That old doubt. You know, that you may be carrying and not even know it. Okay, let's get some love oracles for pile number three. Okay, we have Cupid's arrow. Have faith. Love is coming. A surprise invitation or meeting. Hesitation. Okay, so Spirit is letting you know that love is in your cards. You just have to be patient and wait for that divine timing because it will arrive. It will come right on time. It doesn't matter how old you are or how young you are. You know, love will come when it's destined to get here. Okay? Okay, let's get one more. Okay, we have the snake. Competition, enemy, clever, malicious, look over your shoulder, or the other woman. So I feel like in the past situation, maybe you were the other woman. Maybe you felt like you just don't want to go through that situation again to where someone's going to cheat or someone's going to lie. And so you've kind of boxed yourself in. You've put those eight swords around you to set up your boundaries so high that you're not letting that love back in. But letting go of that intentions. Like I keep on saying release we had release in this in this reading there there's a lot that needs to be released pile number three in order for this to come through okay let's get some advice from spirit what can pile number three do to unblock themselves from finding their soulmate what can pile number three do three of wands be patient It'll happen in divine timing. And three of, all, three of Wands is also growth, expansion, building your awareness, thinking about the future. You know, it's also like watching your ships come in. But, you know, he's watching his ships come in in their divine timing. They're not going to come in when he feels like they should come in. Those ships are going to come in when it's divinely prophesied that they come to his destination, if that makes sense. Okay? Um, more messages for pound number three, please. What can pound number three do to unblock from finding their soulmates? Okay, we have the Ace of Wands taking that leap of faith, having that spark, that movement, that fire, feeling accepted. You know, having that inspired action to take action. We have a lot of wands here. So look at that. That's a lot of fire. That's a lot of passion. And you have that within you. We also have the Knight of Cups. So I feel like, you know, taking the initiative on your healing, on expanding your mentality span expanding your mental awareness about what exactly you want pile number three is going to bring in more offers is going to bring in that love offer 
for your soulmate. Possible soulmate connection. And that's exactly what you want. But you're going to find that by building your confidence. Becoming more aware. Changing your perspective on the situation. Finding that healing. That enlightening. You know? And the hangman is also like a blessing. Waiting to, you know, be created. He's thinking about his blessings right here. But he's thinking about them coming true. You know? Very interesting. Let's see. One more card for pile number three. Okay, we have the Knight of Pentacles. Taking it slow. Taking it at your own pace. And divine timing. Like I said. The Knight of Pentacles, he's not rushing into any situation. But he's building up his stability. He's building up his awareness. His, you know, he's building up his resources while he's waiting. He's not sitting back just being lazy or, or not moving forward. He's thinking mentally how, what he can do to increase his abundance. Abundance isn't always material wealth or money. Abundance can also be your love, your family, your good health. So he's thinking as he's taking it slow at his own pace. You know, he's manifesting his abundance. Okay, and we have the Eight of Wands. So definitely opening up yourself to communication. Taking the initiative. Moving forward with inspired action. The, the Eight of Wands is also fast moving energy. So I feel like, you know, your soulmate may be closer than you think. Okay? Because we also have the, the Six of Swords. So I feel like you're moving into this new space where your, your soulmate is waiting for you. You know, your soulmate will be arriving as you move through to this new island. This new island is this new awareness that you're coming into. And these swords represents the lessons that you're leaving behind. Okay? Okay. Pile number three. That is your message. So if this reading resonates with you, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And take a look at your sun, moon, and rising um, from other readings if you'd like. That may give you more clarity. And take a look at other piles if this one doesn't resonate with you. Maybe another pile will resonate more. Okay? And this is your reading. Thank you so much for watching. And many blessings to you. Love and light.